Well, hello everybody and welcome uh, from Minitini, the trailer, uh, boondocking in my driveway here in Miami. I've got today a whole box of stuff to show you. I'm riding, 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 riding with my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. Hello everybody and welcome one more time. It is kind of getting hot in here, Miami. Any time of the year it could be hot. So here we are uh, in the middle of December. And uh, this video is long overdue because the last one I did, uh, as, as the title indicates, this is the gear that I use. Uh, the, the last one that I did like this one was over a year and a half ago and a, a bunch of key uh, pieces of equipment that I use have changed over the course of uh, that time. I'm gonna start by this, my main camera, and I'm gonna use my secondary camera to shoot it. And here we are. This is uh, my uh, relatively new, it's about a year old. This is Sony, and I always forget the model number. It is an FDR AX33 Sony, it's a 4K camera, and I am uh, overall very pleased with it. It, um, it has a, one very nice feature that my previous camera didn't have is a microphone input. So I, I can record using my higher quality microphone so you can hear me better. In the past, I used a separate recorder, which was, wasn't uh, ideal because I had to synchronize it afterwards. Um, what other main features does it have? Okay, very nice feature, a kind of pro feature here. We have a viewfinder. So if it is uh, very uh, bright outside and uh, you have a lot of glare, well, you can use that viewfinder to frame your shot. Another great feature. Look at this button here. Actually, let me change cameras so it's a little close. Look at this button. It says manual. And that means you can select a bunch of manual features, which I am unable to do right now because I'm recording. And then you, um, you uh, regulate them with this ring and uh, it defaults to the zoom but you can also use it for uh, manual focus, for exposure, for white balance, you name it. Uh, every type of manual control, you have it there. So that, those are the little, the, the few professional features that this camera has. Uh, there's another thing, the stabilization. And I don't know if I can show it here because I have another try, but if I go up and down, the lens kind of wobbles. So it tries to keep uh, the picture as stable as possible. It's not as good as a gimbal, but it, it does an, an amazing job. I could be walking, or maybe not running, but walking, and it stabilizes it pretty well. Okay, what else do we have uh, here? Okay, a couple of negatives. The camera tends to overexpose a little bit. Look at my forehead here, well, I'm right under a light. But it tends to overexpose a little bit, and sometimes it, it feels a little, uh, the, 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 the saturation is, is not as great as I would like it. Not as, as good as my previous one, or my previous one. I'm not gonna talk about my previous equipment because this is so, so much better and such a sharp picture with this camera. Okay, which brings me to my secondary camera, which is uh, this um, LG V20 phone. I used to have the LG V10 and I loved the camera on the LG V10, but the phone turned out to be less than reliable in the long run and it used to overheat and all kinds of issues that it used to crash. But this guy is so far, I mean, I've had it for a couple of months, so it's not a real test, but this guy so far is really good. Let me show you what it does. Let me see if I can do it here. Okay, this is the regular uh, camera, which has a wide angle mode and a not so wide angle mode, but that's not uh, the best thing about the camera. And, I, and I'm gonna pause right now so I can show you, it has a manual mode here. And in this manual mode down here, you can change all kinds of things. It, it gives you a live histogram, which is uh, very nice. You can uh, do the uh, focus manually. So if you want to focus on whatever you want and not what the phone wants, you can do that. And it gives you a ring here. And then you can, buy, you can go back to auto. It has uh, the ISO, uh, the, the shutter speed. So if you think this is uh, not bright enough, well, you can make it brighter uh, by reducing the shutter speed, of course. So you're going to get a, a blurry picture. And there's a way to make it manual again, there, um, automatic again. There you go, and then you have the white balance. So if you think, oh, maybe the, the foam miscalculated and this is a little ye more yellowish than I, I would like it, then you go make it 
a more, more uh, a cooler and then you ha also have auto okay um, that's the manual photographic camera but it also has a manual a video mode which is pretty much the same I, I don't think you have the option to, 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 to lower the shutter speed as, as low and then here you have an audio monitor and uh, with the audio monitor it has a very uh, nice feature here that you can uh, make it okay maybe you wanna you wanted to hear more what it's out there or you wanted to hear more what is uh, my, my my own voice so that's the directivity has a you can have a, a manual limiter gain all kinds of which and a noise fi filter and to be honest about it I haven't really used uh, many of these features because usually I just whip it out and boom and record and uh, that will be in the in the automatic mode and my favorite feature of the video mode and I've I'd said this before in the in the video I, I, I shot uh, a couple of weeks ago in Brickle Key is this zoom feature uh, like, let me zoom on one of the <laughs> look at the mess I have down there uh, if I, I, I it has this bar here that that is just like the bar on top of on top of uh, you know regular video camera this thing it, it does the same job and 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 what I like about it it is a, a var it has variable speed so I could just go very slowly and zoom in very slowly which I, li I love to do those kind of artistic slow zoom ins and outs and that's something you cannot do even with a with a with a regular SLR and uh, <laughs> I, I just love that feature I know I'm fixating on that feature I've said it many times but, but I really like it it's something that no other phone does as far as I know you know a dedicated mode like a video camera that's pretty cool okay let's let's continue now you know now you you, you know my two main cameras are these two now let's go to my third camera and it's the one that you probably uh, let me turn this off because I'm not gonna use the phone anymore the one that I, I, I that you probably have seen the most and the, the one that has the most uh, airtime and it's the GoPro Hero 3 uh, I believe this is the I forgot if this is the white or the silver I think this is the white edition and here you see it in its uh, uh, waterproof casing and then you can take it out and this is the camera itself it is uh, I'm not gonna turn it on because I, I forgot to I know it has a it has a the pro battery is probably dead it's so humid in here even i think the lens of, of of my 4k camera is fogging up the lens the lens is all fogged, fogged because of the humidity in here oh brother let me get you know what i always have a handy microfiber cloth you know what let's do something real quick here live on the air i'm uh, okay speed it up okay she's powered on the things i do for you guys i'm sweating profusely in here <sighs> well, this is great here I'm gonna turn it on the GoPro you know it's very simple it has uh, four modes it has a video a photo mode and here I, I am shooting myself uh, I'm, and I'm gonna call it not color correct it because I want to show you why I don't use the GoPro as much anymore um, I forgot what I was gonna say and here we have it it's very straightforward it has four modes it has a video mode photo mode it has a time-lapse mode and uh, I forgot what the other mode is but anyways um, here we are this is how it looks when it shoots is a very wide angle of course you've seen the GoPro before and that's the one I put on the on the roof of the trailer so I can show you the you know the highway when we're traveling and um, the reason the GoPro used to look great until I bought uh, this uh, 4k camera and now when you put the, the footage side by side there's just no comparison so eventually I'm, I'm thinking of getting the uh, a better GoPro like a like a high defin like a 4k one like the hero oops yeah this one the GoPro is falling apart <laughs> the, the, the battery uh, thing is it's 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 being through rough times I'm telling you but then what I did with this GoPro I got uh, the extra battery so it, it kind of doubles the battery life so I get like three and a half four hours of, of battery life I have chargers and all kinds of stuff because once the camera is up there it's really a pain to go to the roof and uh, and change the battery and then up there I have it on my waterproof casing so if it rains it doesn't get damaged okay that's it for the GoPro I'm not gonna talk, talk about it too much because uh, it's it's the one piece of equipment that I'm thinking of can you hear me okay that I'm thinking of replacing 
soon. Let me turn it off. I lost my train of thought. I don't know if I should get the GoPro, uh, the, the new Hero 5, or if I should get the, the Sony uh, action cam, the new one, which looks fantastic. But I don't know yet. <laughs> I haven't decided. That's uh, one of the things. Uh, th that, that's the, those are the upgrades for next year. Which brings me to this. This is probably the oldest camera I have in here. This is, I bought it in 2011. It was kind of state-of-the-art, mid-range, uh, a digital SLR and uh, at the time it used to be like my best video camera for um, dimly lit places like when I went to the Kamui Caverns in Puerto Rico or anything that I shot at night I usually tended to shoot it with this one because of the low light performance was much better than my other camcorder. Negative the, for the video the stabilization is not that great and the uh, automatic focus it's always hunting for focus and it goes bzz, 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 bzz. You, you can hear it in the footage and that's super super annoying but for still photography it still holds holds up really well and um i have this uh, check it out this large um 70 to 300 zoom lens and this is great like to shoot the 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 moon or a solar eclipse hey, by the way we have a solar eclipse coming next year and uh, I think we're gonna be there but anyways <laughs> um, that's uh, my Nikon let me say uh, it's a Nikon D5100 and at the time it was good it's six years old and I still use it but mainly for still photography to be honest I don't use it as much for video what else do we have here well actually with the GoPro I, I meant to show you this other guy that I haven't used it in about a year but when I used it in the uh, in the Key Largo video uh, I, uh, a lot of you g gave me great comments uh, about its uh, its performance and it's it, it actually looks really good it's only 1080p but the the resolution and the, and the color uh, fidelity it's it's very nice and has a nice uh, stabilization so I might start using it again I think I stopped using it because the battery doesn't last as long and if and if order for it for it to be waterproof it has to has a this uh, this little cap on the bottom and sometimes I forgot to put it on because I had it on a tripod in the car and then one day I dipped it in the water without it but nothing happened to it I might start using it again I have to uh, like have it handy okay um, now let's go to tripods and first of all let me show you this uh, tripod the one that I where, where I had my phone let me turn on the phone so I can show you this tripod actually um, I learned about it from Nomadic Fanatic. He showed it once in one of his videos and I thought it was really cool because, uh, let me turn the camera on, because for example, you press this button and you can bend it like this and it stays like that. So if I want to do a vlog, uh, this would, uh, you know, it's, it's a very nice way to hold the camera and, um, and it stays like that. Now, if I right now, all of a sudden, oh, okay, on a whim, let's, uh, I want to put the camera on the tripod because I want to shoot myself there we are and uh, it stays like that which is a, a great thing so it's more than I can say for, for, for uh, about most other tripods that I've used and then of course I have this um, uh, oops there we go of course right now I'm using it with this uh, selfie stick adapter but it has a regular tripod adapter so this this I have two or three of these and I and I use them I have one in the car so whenever I would just want to pop the, the phone real quick to, to shoot some video I have a bunch of these uh, selfie stick adapters uh, to, to put the phone. Then this is the oldest, uh, well, no, the oldest tripod I have is the one where that camera is sitting. Let me show you. This is, oh my gosh. I've had this tripod for 25 years. This is an old Bosham Lomb. Very good tripod, very, very sturdy, very heavy. And that's the one thing I don't like. The, the, that's the great thing about the tripod and the one thing that sometimes makes me not use it as often because um, it, it's, it's, you know, I'm not going to carry it for five blocks uh, while, while I walk to the beach to, to, to shoot the sunrise. I've done it sometimes, but not always. <laughs> and uh, the other one is this one. This is a Gorilla Pod. And I ha I've had this for about 10 years. It is great because, you know, you can attach it to things, you know. Like for example, let me show you. The, when I when I shot the video of me cooking some um, some eggs, I just put it up here, like that, and it won't hold the 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 DSLR, but it holds the GoPro 
very comp very nicely and uh, it just works i like it i i always keep it in my in my bag and i i'm I, oops, there yeah that tripod has has issues already okay very cool i have a bunch of selfie sticks because you can never have too many selfie sticks i have the all these um, adapters to put the gopro into a tripod the uh, thingy what else do i have i have so much stuff to show you and now i'm like going blank oh zoom h1 recorder I've used this recorder many times like to record interviews and stuff like that because you put it like that and it's a very nice mic with a very nice windscreen and when I didn't have a camera that with a microphone input I usually recorded the audio here and then in Final Cut I would synchronize it which worked fine but you know it's an extra step now I don't have to do it because the camera has a microphone input although if I'm gonna nitpick my the video is like one frame behind the audio in this camera which is something that i have to see how i can fix it or address it i have a bunch of these uh, ziploc bags for example this is the bag where i keep this uh, microphone which is an audio technica i'm sorry i forgot the, the model number but I'll, I'll, maybe i'll put it below and uh, i used to always forget to turn it off and the batteries would die so i bought a bunch of batteries <laughs> and i keep it there and i have also this adapter uh, which uh, you can connect it to the GoPro and record audio directly into the GoPro, which is pretty cool too. Um, of course, I record all my, um, I edit all my videos in the, my good old MacBook Pro, and this is not a Borg attachment. This is an external hard drive that I have Velcroed to the back of the MacBook Pro, so I have extra storage. And this is the hard drive that I use to edit on the road. And then, then after uh, all, everything is edited, I just, you know, copy it, uh, move it back to, to an, a larger hard drive that I have uh, in the house. I have, I have many. I have like a stack this tall with all the trips since uh, 2011. I think that's it. I, I'm, uh, oh, of course, that's not it. The main item, and I have it back here. This is the DJI Phantom 1, the original. And um, you know what that green stuff is? <laughs> I flew it into my neighbor's palm tree the other day. <laughs> because, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's starting to show its age. At, at the time, this was a great drone, but, but lately, if it doesn't hover anymore, it starts drifting like that by itself. And it's, it's, it's starting to be a, a pain to, to, to fly it, really. Um, I don't have a way to monitor what the camera is seeing. In fact, this one doesn't have a gimbal or anything. It's just it just has this uh, mount here where you put the GoPro. Let me actually put it so I can show you. There you go. So so when I'm flying, I'm basically flying blind. I just hope that the camera is pointing in the right direction. And if it doesn't work, sometimes I just land it, look at the footage, and fly it again. Some because sometimes you know I want to look down a little more or. Uh, no, look up now, but just, just look, have it like that. And um, I mean, it works, but if it's windy, you know, you, you, you'll get a shaky picture. And the newer drones look so much better, which brings me to um, maybe, just maybe, I'll get a Mavic next year. I don't know if, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a thousand bucks. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to justify that purchase. And I just saw that uh, the little windscreen of, uh, of this mi from this microphone that I had in the, in the Ziploc bag fell on the floor. Anyway, Ooh, garbage truck is here. All right, everybody, I think that's it. Oh, I also, I got an iPad on Black Friday. Great deal. I hadn't had an iPad for like three years because I never used to use it. But um, I think I'm going to start using this one a lot more. Uh, to monitor the GoPro, to use the GPS in the car, I don't know, I haven't, I, we'll see. The next trip is uh, probably going to be the Tampa Super Show in mid-January. And uh, if you guys are going to be there, just uh, maybe we can do a meetup or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, until the next time, thank you so much uh, for watching. And I'll see you on the road and check out the new outro. All good things come to an end. But before you go, if you liked it, do me a solid and give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, remember to subscribe if you haven't and check out my other videos. You can also visit the blog at travelingrobert.com, join the mailing list and follow me on social media at travelingrobert.
As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. Riding with my RV